Hey guys, 2011 Crown Vic. A lot of folks have trouble shrinking these. They give you a little trouble up here, down here. May give me trouble. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, I don't do the H pattern. I put it right across the middle and I do it 50 50. And you know you're 50 50 when you're in the center. That's 50% here, 50% down here. On one for more curve at the top or the bottom, you may want to do it 60 40, whatever, 70 30, but very seldom do you go any more than that. We have SP9, Shrink Potion 9, whatever you want to call it on the outside. This is a dry shrink. Uh, this is one of our roll straps we put around these, uh, around our window film when we get it ready to go. To store it once we got it rolled up to do our job with. Now, I'm gonna take this thing, I'm gonna roll it out over there. I'm gonna turn it over and roll it right back like this. That don't make no sense, does it, when you do this? That's called the fat man sham right there. My fat ass can't reach all the way across it. I thought my arms had shrank, turns out. Not my arms at all, my belly just got bigger. And my arms no longer reach as far as they used to. <coughs> A lot of folks start from the edge, work their way in. A lot of folks start to sell from the, from the center, work their way out. I do a little mixture of both. The hardest part to shrink on is this top corner. I know I can get all this. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I, I don't have this tacked down. When you tack it down, it don't allow you to keep moving around like this. And when you, you got to be moving around like that, you're still in control. When you lock yourself down or paint yourself into a corner, you, uh, you usually don't overcome it. You get paint on your, shoes or somewhere and it messes you up. So we're gonna hit this corner first. This probably won't be the fastest shrink you've ever saw because I'm gonna be talking to you guys while I'm doing it. And hopefully my phone won't ring and shut us down if it does when I start over so that will be the case if it does. And I, I like a glove because I can control the film better. And uh, you all also say and uh, a lot. I edit that out. And uh, yeah. I will keep talking. The more you talk, the less space you got to edit stuff. That's how you keep painting yourself into it. Oh, it makes it hard to lift it up. Hand me that squeeze right there. I keep lifting it up because I don't want to overstress the film in certain spots. That's one of the pressures on some of the vehicles calls peanuts. So I lift it up, put a little hot air under it, move it over.
cool thing about this blade is it's stiff enough to push the stuff out be able to conform to the glass and makes it a keep you from you hold your mouth just right keep you from creasing the thing I like to heat all the way past the frit. That way I know I've got it shrank all the way across. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut it right on the frit. Let's see here. 